I'm Rob. Hi, I'm Sherry. And this is our cat, Lily. This is Cinder. We've got the truck. We've got the trailer. And we're ready for our RV travel class. Canon Vixia HFR 600 review. Hi guys, this is Rob from RV Travel Quest. And I want to thank you for watching the channel. <clears throat> I wanted to do a follow up on two videos ago of reviewing the Canon camera, which was this guy here, which is the uh, VIX IA Vixia HF. R600 is the one we got. <clears throat> anyway, that's what it looks like. And the video before this one, which I'll put a link to, was um, kind of our experiment with it. And actually, it got a good experiment scenario because we had fog and we had uh, sunshine, and we had clouds, we had everything, and we were using the uh, uh, the camera. Um, off and on and for those of you just watching this for the first time this is cinder and cinder's our rv travel dog <laughs> and uh she's a chocolate lab and she knows i got a couple of treats up for her so the camera turned out to be a pretty nice camera i was pretty happy with it so uh all right baby price wise this is the camera Price-wise, I believe I paid $249 for that, for this. And then I also bought a 64 gig uh, SD card for it. And I also bought a little carrying bag to go with it. And I uh, decided to also get on Amazon to find out if I could get an extra battery, and I did. And you, the camera comes with a little uh, simple battery in the back here, but. Um, it has to be plugged into the camera to charge it. So the battery I bought came with a, um, um, a table charger. So I've got a second battery coming with a charger that I could use in the kitchen or someplace else to charge up all my batteries without having to plug in the, um, the camera. I also found out the Canon has um, grooves in it so you can put adapters on it which you can't do with the Sony HD that I noticed. So um, <coughs> I also found out I could order some filters for it. So I ordered uh, the filters that go with this. And uh, they also offer a wide angle lens that you can put on this. I thought that was pretty cool. The other thing I didn't know when I bought it, but I was surprised and really happy I had it, is it has a shutter that you can open in the front or back. You can probably see open and close there just to protect the lens a little bit, which is kind of nice, especially like with the GoPros, that's kind of, um, well, they got their own case, but it's still nice, a camera like this, that you can protect this. So it was very easy to use because your shutter's right here, sh open and shut it, so it worked out really well. What I didn't like, and I think this is not just unique to Canon, I think it's all of them, is thank God this thing focused as well as it did because it's got an auto focus which is really nice and gopros are the same way you don't need to focus them the reason i wanted this camera is when i use our canon t3i which is the bigger camera it's the actual video camera and that's what i'm using to do this uh video they're so big and bulky and you can't look through the eyepiece to use the video so you look through the monitor and I always found myself having a hard time focusing. So it was nice to get something that did an autofocus um, better than the Canon. Um, and so no matter what though, um, when you're outdoors, it's hard to see a monitor. So a lot of times I kind of point and pray. And especially if you're zooming in on those, I'm zooming in on the kites. Um, it was hard to follow them sometimes because the glare was so bad. But I, I was still very happy. Um, it was easy to uh, to record. Uh, it was just off and on button in the back. Turns on when you shut the case, it shuts the power off. It's done. You don't have to do an on and off switch. The focus while well, the uh, zoom is on the top. And that was fairly easy to use too, even though I got kind of fat hands. 
but uh, it worked really well. It was easy to walk around. Since I had the case on it, I could put my hands in my pocket and still have my camera right there. So it turned out to be a nice tool. The other thing that was really cool was the stabilization on this camera. It, uh, you could see it working as, you know, I'm older so I shake a little more. Um, this uh, stabilization worked really well and I was really happy with it. Overall, I give this thing like a eight and a half to, ten, uh, to nine um, compared to field cameras I've used before. So this has been an awesome camera. I think it's pretty affordable, really. I, I, it's cheaper than a GoPro. And uh, uh, I highly recommend it. If you're going to use this and make your own videos, it's easy to use. The other thing that's kind of cool is the adapter you use to plug into your computer to download your files is the same adapter that GoPro uses. So you can share the adapters. And in fact, the adapter I use for my Canon, the one we're watching here, my big camera, will actually plug into this and it will plug into my GoPro. So it's nice to have the interaction or a universal plug for all three cameras. Um, the only downside um, side to this was it was hard to see the monitor when you're in the field and sunshine's glaring and all that, but it, it did a great job and I hope you saw the video before this and you can kind of see uh, that was the first time I used it so I was still getting used to. I've never had the capability to zoom in on things on the, in the field and so I was looking forward to that so when we get back to our RV and RV traveling um, we can do more detailed um, views of things especially when we're doing RV tips and repairs. So uh, if you have any questions um, I, I'm hoping that a lot of our videos in the future will show this camera and what we can do with it. <coughs> um, it oh, also has a slow motion built into it and fast motion built into it. So just a click of a button and it'll do it for you. Um, and it's actually easier than the GoPro. <coughs> um, the so it didn't need software to download the files from this. I downloaded them. I just plugged it in. This looks like a, another drive on your computer. And I just highlighted my files and created a folder that I wanted to help I've got so many video files it's not even funny and I just copied them over and got them onto my desktop so my laptop so it was not that hard to do that at all um, you do have to make sure when it's plugged in you turn the power on and there's one button you have to push to allow the files to be seen on your laptop so I hope that was a good review um, I was happy with it uh, please take a time to go back to the video we did before this called Ocean Shores Kite Festival and Sunset. This also has a sunset setting, so you do not have to be afraid about pointing it at the sun. I tested that, and in the video you'll see we tested it. Um, it had a little bit of trouble focusing um, when you look at the details of it, um, because it had a, I was pointing at the ocean, so I was having a hard time deciding to focus on the sun. The, the sand or the or the water so you can see the focus kind of fighting a little bit trying to figure out what to focus on so so I think with skill and a little bit of training I can get better at making sure I point this in the right places so the focus works good for a sunset so uh, that's all I had uh, once again you don't need to download any software under your uh, laptop you can use the software you use now I edit my videos with uh, Corral um, 8 um, Video Studio and uh, very affordable software. Um, I have also used Adobe and all those too, but this has been the easiest to use, easiest to do green screen on. I've been very happy with software and you can get the software for like $89. So it's not bad. So I hope I've given you some great ideas for your videos in the future. The Canon camera worked really well. GoPros are awesome for in the field when you're talking to people. And then software wise, save yourself a lot of money. Don't get a subscription. Buy Corral um, Video Studio 8. Uh, I have the unlimited package, so it's uh, I think it was $10 more. So anyway, I hope that does the trick. So 
Once again, thank you for watching RV Travel Quest, and that was my Canon uh, R600 review for the camcorder. And guys, have a great day. Bye now. <coughs>